Ace Attorney has many occurrences of reappearing characters. Obviously, many of the main characters come back time and time again, but several minor characters have also appeared at least once after their first appearance. A perfect example is Adrian Andrews. She appears in Case 4 of Justice for All, but also appears in Case 2 of Trials and Tribulations. Another example is Wendy Oldbeg, and she's perhaps the biggest example of all, as she makes her debut in the first game, goes to the second game, makes a very small appearance in the third game, and is in two cases in Investigations 1. However, it's fair enough to say that many characters have had their first appearance and never came back. Some examples include Mo the Clown and Victor Kudo. And in fact, you can think of a lot of characters who only appeared once. But out of all these characters that never got a second chance, there is one that almost needs to come back. Like, if this character doesn't return in the future, it's going to be kind of sad, and that is, as you could guess from the title and thumbnail, Cody Hackins. Cody Hackins made his debut in Turnabout Samurai, which is the third case in the first game. Now, let's look at the characters in Turnabout Samurai. We have our main characters who are always there to stay, so we got them checked off. We then have the aforementioned Wendy Oldbag, who returns often. We have Penny Nichols, who makes a return in Investigations 2 Case 5. And speaking of, Will Powers returns in that same case, but also comes back in Justice for All Case 4. And finally, we have the more obscure return of Sal Manella, who comes back in Investigations 1, but he's in the background, and you just hear a little bit of dialogue from him. Still, it's a return of a character nonetheless, despite it being small. And then we got Jack Hammer, who's dead, so yeah, he doesn't really count. And we have Dee Vasquez as well, who's in prison, so technically you could say that she didn't get her comeback, but... Let's just go with this rule that characters in prison do not count. And as you can see from this logic, Cody is the only character who did not get a reappearance from the case of Turnabout Samurai. And this is somewhat known among the fanbase. I'm pretty sure I even got a comment telling me this in one of my videos, but what if I told you we could take this further? If you really think about it, with one small exclusion, Cody Hackins is the only non-criminal character from the original Ace Attorney 1 that does not make an appearance in a later game. Let's go through the character list by starting with the first turnabout. Cindy Stone is dead, so she doesn't count. Larry Butts appeared countless times and probably classifies as a main character. Frank Sawit is a jailed criminal, but also does return, which is cool. Winston Payne returns as a tutorial prosecutor. And with that, the first turnbout is done. Next, we go to Turnbutt Sisters. April May and Red White go to prison. Grossberg returns as your assistant in Turnbutt Memories. And then the bellboy is an obscure one, but I did make a short on this. He does come back in the kidnap turnabout as the proto badger. And then we have Turnbutt Goodbyes. Lotta Hart returns. Von Karma is a criminal, but either way, does return in the investigation games. And if we're also counting Gregory Edgeworth and Misty Fay, well, they appear later on as well, so it's kind of crazy, but that factors in almost everyone. Yanni Yogi does not make a second appearance, but again, he's in jail. And the one small exception to this entire rule is Polly the Parrot. Polly never appeared again, so I guess the final verdict is that Cody Hackins is the only innocent human character in the original version of Ace Attorney 1 to never appear again. Note how I said the original version of the game. I am not including Rise from the Ashes, as that case was made as DLC in 2005, which is a few years after the game was made. Now, if we do include Rise from the Ashes, it doesn't change too much. The only additional innocent character who does not return is Angel Star, but I think this is why it has to be Cody. Cody was in the version all the way back in 2001. It's been 7 years since a mainline game, so I think Ace Attorney 7 needs to have some nostalgic moments. Now, I'm not saying they should advertise the game to show all the old characters returning, like how they did with Maya and SOJ. I'm just saying, give a little trip down memory lane. Is Cody Hackins not the perfect character to do this with? First, he's a minor character, so there's literally no point in revealing his appearance in the trailers. No one's going to say they'll just buy Ace Attorney 7 for Cody Hackins. But imagine you keep it a secret, and all of a sudden, they get to the case he's in, and they see how he's grown from that kid, who was traumatized all those years ago. They get to see him as a grown adult, because think about it, the man was 7 years old back then. It's been, I think, at least 11 years then, assuming Ace Attorney 7 takes place after SOJ, 
so we get to see how he's changed. He's also a character with a huge link to the Steel Samurai, and that can be used to connect with other characters. For example, we got Edgeworth, who's shown to be a huge Steel Samurai fan over the years, so maybe he'll like Cody for that alone. We didn't get to see them talk too much in Turnbutt Samurai itself, so maybe we'll get to see more interaction between them in this next game. We also got someone like Pearl. Pearl is about the same age as Cody, and was made to be a fan of the Steel Samurai to some extent, so those are two characters I'd like to see interact for sure. With all the possible directions you can take with Cody's character, and the fact that he's the only innocent character from the Game Boy AA1 that hasn't come back, means he must return. Do you guys agree? Do you guys disagree? If you like this and want to see more Ace Attorney goods, hit that subscribe button, click the bell icon to be notified when a new video arrives, have a good day, and goodbye.